Hey everybody, Thrasher121 coming back at you with another YouTube video on this great Friday. And today it's another LEGO BattleBots tutorial, how to build LEGO Ice Wave. So, let's get to it. So, the first part we're going to build of Ice Wave is the base. And you're going to need some snot for this. Not real snot. That's just a term LEGO fans use saying studs not on top. It's abbreviated. And we're going to build a, the base of Ice Wave and it's going to be upside down. That'll allow us to attach the spinner in a very strange, unorthodox LEGO building way. But it still works. So we're going to take a 4x6 blue plate and a 2x4 blue brick. I'm just going to stack them together like so. Giving a little bit of room all the way around. Now we're going to take three one by twos in blue and we're going to put them all around the bot. One right here, one right here, and finally one right over here. Like so. Now we're going to take a one by one with a hole in it. It's blue. I'm just going to put it on over here. I'm going to take some one by ones and we're just going to build all the way around the bot. Here, 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 and I'm going to take two one by one plates, stack them together, and we're going to set that right here on Ice Wave. And there you have it. The main base of Ice Wave is complete. You can just push that off to the side, and now for the blade. So, here are all the Legos you'll need in order to build Ice Wave's gigantic bar spinner. You'll need three one by sixes, and you're going to put them on like this. And I'm going to take two one by ones and put them on here and here. And then you're going to take two small gray wall brackets and put them on here and here. And then you're going to take a 1x2 with a Technic pin in it and you're just going to put it right here up on the top, holding the 1x6s together. Then you're going to take all the remaining pieces you have left and fill in the gaps right here. And you're going to take this little small curve, put this one up here that holds this piece on, the 1x2 with a Technic pin on it. The jumper plates go on the ends to make the ends look like they're painted gray. And all in all, this blade looks very cool, ready to tear into some other LEGO bots. Now, onto the rest. All you'll need for the top, the internal combustion engine, and the piece that holds it all together, is this 1x3 um, non-friction Technic pin, and this 2x4 brick. I'm going to take the Technic pin and put it right in here, slip the blade on there, and then we stick it onto the bot, and boom! There's Ice Wave. Man, this looks good. This is just such a cool bot. Before it wouldn't spin, but then I added the non-friction Technic pin, and it works like a charm now. It works so well. This is just such a cool bot to have. And with BattleBot Season 3 coming out, it's going to be so cool. It just destroyed itself. Oh, no. Well, anyway, this is such a cool bot to make and to have. I really hope you like it. And as always, check out my other videos below. To wave two, you got Bombshell, Overhaul, Razorback, and Nightmare will be coming out pretty soon. As well as other parts to my Mayhem miniseries and other LEGO Robot Wars robots that I'm building. One's almost done. It's coming as a surprise. And it is coming in a test fight. So, as always, remember to like and subscribe, share my videos, watch more, and as always, Thrasher121, signing out.